love you back. It was a White House event to highlight lowering the cost of prescription drugs. No senior should have to choose between either filling their prescription or paying their rent. But President Biden wasted no time campaigning for Vice President Harris in their first official joint appearance since she became the Democratic presidential nominee. She's going to make one hell of a president. Let me tell you what our Project 2025 is. Beat the hell out of them. In New Jersey, former President Donald Trump dismissed criticism that he should focus more on substance and less on personally attacking Harris. I think I'm entitled to personal attacks. I don't have a lot of respect for her. I don't have a lot of respect for her intelligence. Trump also bashed the Biden administration for not doing enough to stop rising prices. Today, the White House announced agreements with drug manufacturers to bring down the price for 10 widely used medications that will take effect in 2026. The Medicare negotiation program marks the first time the federal government has haggled with drug makers. I think it's an enormous step. 80-year-old Frank Irwin takes Zeralto to treat a rapid heart rate, one of the top three most prescribed drugs on the list. A 30-day supply will go from $517 to $197. Irwin says the savings are way overdue. I've never understood why the drug uh, cartel, if that's the right term for it, has such a, a, a monopoly. Uh, and has the lobbyists out there that they can get the laws written. On Friday, Vice President Harris will deliver her first policy speech as a presidential nominee with a focus on the economy. And vice presidential candidates Governor Tim Walz and Senator J.D. Vance have agreed to debate right here on CBS. It will be held on October 1st in New York City and moderated by the anchor and managing editor of the CBS Evening News, Nora O'Donnell, and Face the Nation's Margaret Brennan. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, the White House.